Number 21, prepare a list of the principal chemicals consumed and produced during the operation of an automobile. Okay, so I see we just got to make a list of what is used up, aka what is consumed. So I'll put that here, used up and produced. Another word for produced is made when a automobile or a car is operating. So what uh, needs to be put into a car to get it to run, and with running, what comes out of the car. So let's make a little chart here. So I'm going to say consumed, and then I'll put a line here, and produced. Okay. So there's a lot of chemicals here, but they want the principal chemicals. Your list may be different than mine, but just as long as you hit um, a couple of the ones that I write down, your answer is good to go. Okay, so I'm going to try to look at this at different angles. So what needs to be used up in order for a automobile or a car to run? Well, definitely if that gas tank is on E, that car is not running. Unless it's mine, because I always run on E. But that's besides the point. Um, so basically, you would need gasoline. So... That's definitely one. That's a principal chemical. You need gas. Petrol, same thing. So gasoline is number one. You also need air in order to run. But air is not really a principal chemical, so let's break it down. What does air consist of? Well, the two major molecules that are in air is O2, so oxygen, and N2, which is nitrogen. So you definitely need those in order to start up your car. Now, the next thing, the next principal chemical that I can think of is what's going on in terms of the battery. I'm going to pretend here that the battery that the car is running on is a lead acid battery. So there's basically three different principal chemicals that are needed in order to run that lead acid battery. Well, one of them, it says lead right here, so you definitely need to have PB. PB, the element, the atom, is lead. You also need lead for oxide. Don't worry about how to make this um, compound for right now. That's in later chapters, but that's PBO2. And then the next thing you need is you just need sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid and sulfuric acid is H2SO4. So a combination of these um, six things, gasoline, O2, N2, PB, PBO2, and H2SO4, you need those to uh, get consumed in order for the car to run. But now, once the car is running, what's being produced? Well, technically, if you add in gas, a specific type of reaction is going to uh, occur called combustion. And always the products, what's produced or what is made, the products of a combustion reaction is always water, H2O, and CO2. So definitely water is going to be produced or made, and carbon dioxide will be made as well. Now, since we use N2, another product that will be produced or what is made when a car is running is NO2 which is nitrogen, nitrogen dioxide. And now we just got to state what is produced when this lead acid battery is working. So these three things, PB, PBO2, and H2SO4, work together in order to produce lead sulfate, so lead sulfate is a product. It's produced in the operation 
of an automobile, which is PBSO4. And also water is produced here as well. But since I said water up here, I'm not going to write it again. But all, um, all of these, now we got four things. We got water is produced, carbon dioxide, um, nitrogen dioxide, lead sulfate, which I'll put over here. Lead sulfate is PBSO4. So lead sulfate is produced. Oh, I already put it over here. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. So these four I would list as the production side. And then these six on the consume side. But that's basically a list of the principal chemicals consumed and produced when an automobile is running. I hope this helped out a lot. If it did, click that subscribe button. That would really help us out. And I'll see you all in the next lesson. Have an awesome day, guys. See you later.